Hey everyone, so today I thought I might do a video on a tag that I've been tagged in. It's called the If All My Makeup Disappeared tag, and I was tagged by Sunny Dahi, so thank you for tagging me, but this has been an extremely hard tag. Like, what you have to do is actually pick 10 products. Like, if all your makeup disappeared, what 10 products would you pick and why? So, this is, like, extremely hard. It's like... If I only had 10 makeup products, like what kind of face would I do? You know, I love all my makeup products and I have a huge makeup collection. So it was just really difficult picking everything. Anyway, so I did pick 10 that I think that are really, really good. And that if I were to disappear on an island and that's all I had, I would be able to make a decent face out of this. The first thing I'm going to talk about is like what it would be my foundation, what it would be my CC cream. And I think this is my favorite one. And this is the Aura color control CC cream and I was thinking like out of all the foundations I've tried out of all the CC creams or BB creams I've tried what would I get like what would I get and I would probably think that if I had a choice I would probably get a CC cream just because a foundation might be a little bit too heavy and if I need you know that day where I need to go for like a light walk in the park or something what would I wear I'd probably wear this which gives me ample coverage and also really looks really flawless and I really do like this so I guess I would choose this one because, yeah, it's in the middle of a foundation and CC cream and it's just basically perfectly what I would need if all my makeup disappeared. really hope that doesn't happen. After my foundation, I would probably need a concealer and for concealer, I really do like the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer and this is the one I have and the reason why is because it is a balm concealer. It also comes with a little powder so it's a bit of a multitasker there and I liked this because obviously I've hit pan on it already and it's great on the go so I could just like touch out my blemishes on the go or in the morning when I need to conceal and concealer is really important for me because I tend to break out very very easily so I would pick this one I really do like the texture of it and it conceals very very well and blends into the skin well too so I'd probably pick this then I would have to set everything right so I would pick the NARS translucent crystal light reflecting powder this is my all-time favorite powder I don't even use it on myself I use it on my clients who pay me to do their makeup and that is because I don't want to waste it. Like, this is so good that I will I will put it on someone else rather than myself. I will use some other powder. And I love this. Like, this is such a good powder. It doesn't give you any coverage, which is good. Like, maybe you have a light day or something. And I usually use a fan brush to dust this all over my face. And it is really, really good for that. It is very good, basically, to take away any pores that you might have and give you a very nice, flawless finish. I really do like, I really do think that this is one of the best translucent powders there is out there because it is really translucent. Sometimes translucent powders can have a bit of a white overcast, but this one doesn't have a white overcast at all. So that is really, really good. Now it's on to my eyes. Of course, eyes are really, really important. You know, I'm just so thankful that some of the products actually do multitask so I can actually get more out of the 10 products than I would before. So I would definitely repurchase this. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion if all my makeup disappeared. And it is my all-time favorite eye primer. This is my like third or fourth bottle of it. And I've been using it for a long time. But I do use this on my clients. It's the extra large professional size because I save the best for my clients. I, I, I love this. This is like my favorite eyeshadow primer. I've tried a lot of them and this one I feel really does secure the eyeshadows and really does bring out the best of them. So I really, really do like this, and I will definitely repurchase another one when this finishes. Eyeshadow, I will definitely pick a palette, and it is the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. And the reason why I love this palette is because it has six shadows, and I really do think that this is the most versatile palette, even though it has six colors, and there's not much colors to them. A lot of people do wear neutral shades. I definitely do, so it's kind of a thing where... I will definitely pick this because it does a lot of things for you. So I can use these as a base shade and then define my eyes with the darker shades that work very well. I've already hit pan on some of the shades. I can also use it as an eyebrow powder with Faint and um, Crave, the black, and I mix the two to, you know, just draw my eyebrows as well. So it really does multitask, I think, and it's great for also mature ladies because matte shades are best for you to not highlight the you know blemishes or wrinkles that you might have and yeah I guess it can do other people's makeup too so I don't know so uh, I love this palette it's really really good and yeah I have even another one in stock 
ready for me when I finish this one up. I would definitely go with some eyeliner. So I always need two eyeliners with me. One to draw my waterline, this one, and also my lid line. And so this one is the NYX Studio Liquid Liner. I really, really like this. This was only $9 for Sephora in Singapore, which is really cheap for an eyeliner in Sephora, even though it is NYX, and I know that NYX is a more of a lower end brand. And I really, really do like this. It's completely black and it's very pigmented and very thin so it can create very fine lines but it's just not great for beginners who are just starting out with eyeliner I think you would probably you know want a pen shape eyeliner it's easy for you to draw so this is more for people who have a lot of experience with eyeliner that can use this because it's extremely fine and thin but black so it can draw different shapes I don't know very versatile so I would bring this with me or I would repurchase this if all my makeup disappeared and then of course I need something to line my waterline and my tight line and that would be this one which is the Bobbi Brown long wear eye pencil and I've already used a lot of it and I would repurchase this because it really does stay on my eyes and is very black and creamy as well so I really do like this I can also make maybe like a smoky look with it and like blend it out and like put stuff on like I'm always thinking like which products would be the most versatile okay so for eyebrows I would use this which is the benefit gimme brow kind of a mascara like brown mascara as the brow gel and it just looks so cute it's like really small and cute and petite and I would just draw my eyebrows. It works very well on my eyebrows. It's not as dark as these ones are, but a little bit lighter. But it's still good. I mean, like, it's just so versatile. I don't need, like, another brush. You can just brush on and touch up. I usually put this in my touch-up bag. Definitely repurchase this if all my makeup disappeared. Alright, so now it's time for my cheeks. And, oh, I will get this one, which is the Sleek Face Form Palette. Do you know why? Well, it's because they have three colors in it. So they have a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. So that pretty much covers my cheeks, girls. So I would definitely use this to contour and I would definitely highlight and also apply my blush. It's a beautiful set and I really do like this because it comes with three instead of one and they all are very, very good powders. So this is the Sleek Face Form Palette and they have a different, like this is light, so 373, so this is a number. comes with a really nice rose gold blush that reminds me of the NARS Orgasm. And then a really nice peachy highlighter that is really good for all skin tones. And a really nice matte kind of ashy brown which is great for contouring. So that pretty much covers my, you know, my one. And I would definitely repurchase that. And then for lipstick, it's been really, really tough. I was contemplating between the Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Suede Lipstick, which I always wear. You know, like if I were to wear a red lipstick, that would be the one that I would choose. However, I think that if all my makeup disappeared... It's not the most moisturizing, it's not the most daily wear kind of lipstick, I think. And it's only something that I do wear when I have an event or something to go to later. So I would probably pick this one. And I've been using it only for a short while, but I've been really, really in love with it. I'm wearing it right now. And this is a Burberry Velvet Lipstick. And it looks like this. It's really nice. And this is the color. The color is in 304. And it's kind of a dark beige color that really suits my skin tone, I think. Like... It's a very daily kind of ultimate beige kind of color and it looks really nice on my lips. I can also tap it if I want like a lighter sheer color. Whereas I think other lipsticks might be a little bit too heavy. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye!